Hello, I'm Pablo Stanley, and I wanted to show you a new tool that we just released at Bueno, and this is Bueno Forms. Bueno Forms would allow you to just collect data from your users, from your collectors, from anyone in a community. Uh, the cool thing about this is that it's Web3 powered. So it will connect to a user's wallet and we just like register that wallet, but also you can check uh, people's balance. You can also connect to Discord and you can do other sorts of stuff like this. I'm going to show you just really quickly how you can do this. So you want to go to bueno.art and then just go to create now. Uh, and this will just connect to your wallet. Once you have uh, connected to your wallet, then you're going to see different things here like art, contracts, and also a new tab that is called allow list. Uh, it's going to be called forms later, but right now just allow list. But allow list really hides the power of this tool because actually you can use it for or anything. So let's just create an allow list and I'm going to call it a uh, humankind test. Uh, and I'm going to create an allow list. So here you're going to see the different things you can add to this form. So you want to add the information, different requirements, settings. So here in the information, the first thing you want to do, just like upload a thumbnail. So I already have a logo here and I'm going to add it here. I already have the name, but also if you want to set a date when this is going to end. Also, if you want to set a maximum amount of spots, let's say that you want only a thousand people registering, it's just add a website here and a short description. This is a short description. There you go. So just save the changes. And then now let's go to the requirements. And this is where it gets pretty fun because here, for example, you can set a balance. You want to, if you want to check uh, a collector's wallet and see if you want to set a minimum uh, a amount in their wallet before registering, let's say that you want to check if they at least have 0.1. And this is useful if you are creating an allow list and this allow list, you want to see if uh, people have the minimum amount of what the mint price is going to be. So let's say that it's 0.1. So you want to make sure that people are going to be able to afford your mint. So you set a minimum balance. Then you set a password. If you want to just like password protected, maybe there's a treasure hunt or something. So let's say that hola is my password and also NFT requirements. So NFT requirements are pretty cool because like, let's say that you want to add, uh, you want to only allow certain people check their wallets and see if they have a token from a specific uh, collection, from a specific contract. You can just like say here and then just enter it a contract address. So, for example, I already have the, the contract of Robotos. So I'm just going to put that one and I'm going to add it here. And then I can also connect to Discord. This is also if you want to check that you are only collecting people from a specific uh, Discord that you have. You can just turn this on and then just connect, uh, go through the process to just connect to your Discord. And once you are connected, then you're going to see the different uh, Discords that you are connected to. So let's say that uh, Bueno, for example, or let's say uh, Humankind, for example, this one, and I'm going to select a role. So I want only members from this Discord to allow uh, uh, to be able to uh, uh, give me their information. So I just added that and I can add multiple roles if I wanted to. Uh, now I can also say like a, give me your Twitter uh, uh, username and also an email. So now let's save the changes and I'm going to go here. Apparently it didn't upload the batch. I don't know why. So let's just save the changes again. There you go. And now let's go to the settings. And here in the settings, it gets pretty cool because you can customize the look and feel of this form. So first, let's say that it's public and you're allowing submissions. At any point, you can say like, hey, turn it off. So make it not public or also just like say, turn off the submissions. It's still public, but you're not allowing submissions anymore. Let's just turn it on for now. And also here, you can give it your own URL. So let's just give it humankind test. And also you can customize the color of it. So let's say that you select black and you can also customize the background image of it. So let's just go here. I already have this really cool background image. I'm just going to put it here. Now you can say 
if you want it to be just like a texture, then you want, want it to be tile, but I actually want this to be just like a cover image. So I'm going to turn this off and it's going to be look pretty epic in the background. And then here, the page content, if you want to add just like a description of this event or this uh, allow list, this form, just like, yo, this is just a test. And just confirmation message. Also, if you want to just like say, uh, thank you for subscribing, you know? Thank you for subscribing. And maybe just like, if you even want to add links or if you want to add bold stuff, you can add it here. So also you can add, just to avoid bots, we have a captcha. So you can just turn that on. We recommend just to put, always just keep it on and just save the changes. And uh, 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 let's wait here for the changes. And now let me go back here and just like, I'm going to turn off the uh, Discord requirement because just for this test, I don't want it. So I'm just going to save the changes. And at any point, you can just open the page and just for a preview. So let's just open the page and see how it looks. And there you go. So now here, Right now, it's it's like this because there is a, a password. So if it is password protected, you're going to see this image first. So let's put hola, let's continue. And now, now I'm here it, and it's going to ask me to collect my wallet. So I'm going to connect my wallet, just MetaMask. Boom, it connected my wallet just like that. And then I'm going to ask uh, for Twitter uh, username. And by the way, it allowed me to connect my wallet because it looked at it and it saw that I have a Roboto and I also have 0.1 at least in my wallet. So that's why I was allowed to, uh, uh, to do that. Now, if I were to change this and let's say that here on the requirements, I needed to have 400 ETH, <laughs> which I don't have. Let's save the changes. And let's see uh, what happens here. Let's uh, let's refresh, da, da, da. and let's put the password again. And then here, let's try to connect the wallet, and it's not connecting the wallet. And this is just like telling me, yo, you need a minimum requirement of 400 ETH in your wallet. So let's turn that off because that's crazy. Uh, so let's just uh, say, let's actually just turn it off uh, and let's save the changes and let's go back to our form uh, 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 and let's just refresh. And let's just continue here and there you go. Now I was able to connect because there's no requirement of a 400 ETH in my wallet. And let's just go ahead and I'll just put my username and, uh, and I'm going to put my uh, email, pablo at bueno.art. There you go. So, and there you go. Now I'm able to register. I sign in with my wallet. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. And there you go. I have registered. It, it's giving me that message, uh, success message, message that says, thank you for subscribing. And now let's go back to our form and let's see the responses. So I go here to the responses and I have one submission, which is me. Uh, and I have the address, Twitter, email, and also a date, a timestamp of when this was submitted. And if I want to, I can just download this as a CSV file, which will be really useful. I can just import it into my Google Sheets. If I want to use it later, if I have a contract here in a Bueno contract and I want to use this as an allow list, I can also use it there. So that's it. Just a pretty quick demo of or Bueno Forms, which right now they're called Allow List. But as you can see, we're calling them Bueno Forms because this is just going to be a tool that is going to be pretty powerful. We're going to be allowing surveys. We're going to be allowing just like multiple fields that you can just like customize. So it's going to be more of a Web3 form builder for creators, for marketers who just want to gather data from their collectors. And we're pretty excited for you to use this. And that's it. It. To know more about this, just go to bueno.art and see you later. Bye.